So I'm wondering, you know, we've touched on a lot of things about about communicating with council members. Is there anything that we haven't touched on yet that has that has struck you two as we've been chatting? You know, you've given great information about sort of nuts and bolts, how to go about this, also strategically how to go about this. Anything else? I mean, I'm thinking of even things. Sometimes I've been in City Hall and I see folks coming in and um, uh, they look like they're dressed for the beach more than meeting with a council member. Does it matter what you wear? Does it matter? I mean, do things like that matter? For those of us, you know, we're, we might be new to the process. Does stuff like that matter? Words matter and appearance matters. Use common sense. Don't go out there like you just got out of bed or you just came from the beach in your flip-flops. Be respectful. Um, and remember, there are thousands of people working on any number of issues. Be considerate of your uh, fellow citizen. And uh, otherwise, remember, they're your public servants. They're there to serve you and not the reverse. And I think it's also helpful to be brief and concise when you do go up there. Uh, if you're rambling around and don't even have an outline of what you're going to speak about, it's probably going to take too much time and you might not even get to the point you really want to make. So some preparation is always good and being respectful of their time because they're going to have to cut you off if you, if you ramble because they've got so much to do. I may remind you, things are going to be a little bit different this next year after the elections. I think Austin City Government is going to change. I hope for the better. I hope they will pay more attention to the general public and the bureaucracy will be simplified in terms of solving problems and what to do. So we're getting close to our end here. I just have one final question that y'all can probably answer pretty quickly. We've been talking a lot about research, concise messages, defining the issue. Are there certain buzzwords that tend to get council member or city attention? Words that if you put that in a message, it might, might get a little more attention or might raise a flag. Um, any, any words or phrases that people might want to kind of focus on using? Say thank you for your public service and uh, do not use those negative buzzwords like I am a taxpaying citizen and I demand action. Uh, be nice, be respectful. And if you are sending an email, put the topic in the reference line because it helps them keep track of it better.